Alrighty, folks, Blues Boy Jag here. Yet another four string cigar box guitar lesson. We're doing a comparison between the tone of a glass slide and a brass slide. So, first of all, I'm going to play a chord all the way up on the 12th fret. I've got, oh, 20% distortion on this amp. This is a Boss Cube 10. And uh, we'll compare sustain and we'll compare some other licks and see what we get as far as sustain and tone between the brass and the glass. Starting off with the glass. I'm gonna slide up to the 12th fret and let it sustain. So I counted about five seconds on that one. Same thing on the brass. It pretty much sustains as long as I've vibrato it. Let's go back to the glass. We'll try that again. So, I don't know, 80, 90% less volume, but it still continues to sustain, but at a much lower volume. So, let's try a couple of licks here. So this is going to be a lick on the 3rd and 5th fret on the 4th string. Now we'll try the same lick with the glass slide. Pretty much the same I would say. Let's try it one more time with the brass. And one more time with the glass. Maybe 20-30% lower volume, I would say, by the time that that fades to its minimum with the glass. So the brass probably has a little bit more sustain. All right, let's go back to the glass, or to the brass, glass, brass, and we'll try this. Top two strings. Same thing on the glass. I can't tell the difference at all on that one. So let's go back to the brass. I'm going to try a really hard grind up to the 12th fret. I'm not testing sustain right now, just volume. Now the glass. I would say the glass is way brighter. You may not be able to tell much difference on this video, not quite sure. But one more time, back to brass. Obviously, the sustain on the brass is going to be much longer. Ooh, I got a really, really, really nice harmonic overtone on that one. Other than that, they're pretty close. So let's try a couple licks on the low string down here. Now for the brass. Almost identical, but the glass is brighter for my ears. Again, you may not be able to tell much difference on some of these tests. Back to the glass. It does have a slightly more spanky sound with the glass, but again, you may not be able to tell that. Now, how about a little solo here? I'm going to do an unaccompanied solo, and I'm going to start out with the glass. Bit 
brighter, but probably about 90% the same. So, big string, second fret. And now for the brass. Tone-wise, identical, but sustain-wise, much longer sustain with the brass. Now let's go to the first string, second fret with the glass, and we'll test sustain. Extremely long sustain. Let's go to the brass. Pretty much the same. Can't really tell much difference between those two. All right, back to the glass, and we'll try a couple of bar chords all the way across. We'll try the third fret, the fifth fret, the seventh fret, and the twelfth fret. Again. to the brass. Not a whole lot of difference there, I don't think. Okay, one final test. I'm going to do some grinding on the big strings, some improv, starting out with the brass. <laughs> tell any difference at all on that. Now, I'm going to turn down the distortion, the overdrive, just a bit. So we'll clean it up. In fact, I'm going to turn it off completely. And we'll start on the third fret with the glass. the exact same tone but much longer sustained. So one more test. We'll go to the glass and we'll do the seventh fret slide up to the twelfth fret. And now the brass. Seventh to twelfth fret. Definitely more sustain on the brass. By now, the glass, I think, would have faded away. It's not a very scientific test. Hey, there I am. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, jackshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one. Be sure and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.